we're starting off at this point uh, with our helicopter, so... That's uh, right there. Again, the air base is where we'll be landing at. Um, we have uh, in the, basically in the helicopter pad, we have this area that uh, have its uh, find it. for maintenance. Right here. Uh, so our for our vehicle supports. In case we need to rearm or anything, because we'll be definitely on vehicles. So that's important. And if we need anything additional, uh, again the vehicle depot that's where we have all the vehicles and then this additional I think vehicle transport. Additional resources. In case we need to pull a vehicle out of like a ditch or something. Uh, right. but definitely vehicle supports, which is like where we refuel and refuel uh, replenish ammunition and repair. Um, also, in the ammunition, that's very important. We're gonna like load up everything we need there. Uh, you being a marksman, that would be good because we'll be definitely engaging from a distance. If we have to, then we'll like transition to uh, uh, mount operations or CQB, but most of it is gonna be a little more distant because more of a patrol and uh, security around the airbase. We'll go, we'll discuss the path later, but right now we're just going to land and go overseas. Got it. set your voice to yelling since uh, we won't need to do anything, what you call it, anything that, um, quiet. Do you know Very how to do louder. that? Control yeah, tab. Switch it. Yelling, okay. You're loud and clear. Also, if you, um, it's really, really, if the radar's too low for you, you could always go to, uh, hit control P. And hmm. when the radio pops up, go over to click on, wait, is that? What a jet. Why is it in the Did air? You? I didn't set it. <laughs> wow, it's already in the air. It's pathetic. Oh, uh, you can go over and click uh, on top of the the right the right arrow, and when you hover over it, it says speakers. Yeah. And you can click on it, and when you click on it on the lower right hand side, it's, what do you say? Headphones or speakers? Make sure you click it so it says speakers. Let me know when you're done with that. Yeah, I got it. Okay. And when you hear, you actually hear something like, Hello? Oh, oh yeah, I can see. Yeah. Right? In case we're that separated. Could I just go back to headphones? Okay, and then the channel is 125 or? Yeah, we can, we can switch right now, yeah. Or you can just leave it as this. So 
Oh, wait, wait, now leave it in case we have somebody else join. It's 208.6. Okay. Remember, you input it with the, with the numbers on your keyboard. If you click the numbers yeah. on. Okay, you remember. Uh, how do you increase the value? Uh, let me see. If you just want to run your headphones, you can go back to headphones. And let me figure out control. Configure. Controls. Figure add ons. It's in under T4. It should be. I thought it was. Change speaking volume. That's control tab. Cycle radios. Yeah, that's what I was wondering too, like how do you shift P control tab alt <coughs> This is weird. Cannot T4 turn and what? cancel. I thought it would like be right there. Oh, okay. If you hover the mouse on top of the little antenna on top, where the numbers are at. Yeah. Oh, increase. Yeah, in if you, I think, left click, you decrease the volume. If you right click, you increase the volume. Come back on headphones. Uh, you can speak on the radio now. Can you hear me? I hear you loud and clear. Roger that. Alright, uh, let's go in and uh, get armed, or unless you're satisfied with what you have right now. Mm. You're satisfied with yeah. your equipped? Okay, let's go. Switch. You're gonna switch? Yeah. That's already a long range weapon. Alright, let's, let's go in. Yeah, um, just wanna switch the scope. That's the best scope there is, the other ones are pretty trashy. Oh, and it's the one that's a little more pinpoint accurate. The other ones are again are like you need to be very familiar with uh what you call it. Um you need to be very familiar with um with the MOA dots. Like if you if you work uh if you work it it's gonna what you call it? Uh you gotta put the binoculars away because it's gonna be annoying. <laughs> binoculars away. So, um, I think on mine is different, but like if you go to configure or sniping, configure controls, and then go to uh, configure add-ons. Or do you, you want to follow me? Okay, so, yeah, I'm following. Follow. Okay, so you're in controls, right? Mm -hmm. You're in configure add-ons at the bottom. Mm -hmm. The oh, bottom. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Now click the down arrow, so you see the menu. Mm -hmm. Go to Ace Scope Adjustments. Got it. Okay, what are the controls you see? Like the actions. Minor, adjust, minor adjustment up, page up. Okay, um, yeah, you got it, you got it. So, yeah. you use all those controls to literally fix the sights on your scope. So, you can like uh, uh, be more accurate across long distances. Okay. Um, yeah. Unless you're comfortable working all of that and being super immersive as a sniper. I just gave you that scope right there, so that way, uh, you, what you call it? So that way, you are um, don't have to mess with the uh, MOA dots and those uh, minor adjustments and major adjustments. That's that's the scope that you had to do it less with. The other scopes you had to do it more. You had to do more mil dot adjustments. Yeah. Okay. I see it. But if you still want to scope, then there, um, there's the thing. Okay, I just uh, should be fine. Oh, does the tilt work again? The tilt, so you can point, like point, point at her, the lady. See if I see you. Oh, there you go. So it's back. I fixed it. Okay. Alright. Um, if you wanna go in the arsenal, you can. I'll just let me know when you're ready. 
<laughs> kind of don't like this helmet. Let's switch out the helmet. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna switch it to uh, what you call it? Helmet. Mm, it's already OGA. Okay. I'm gonna switch it back to multicam or M81. M81? Uh, I kinda like multicam. Yeah, multicam is better. Oh, you took off the scarf thing. I did? Uh, I think you did. Because uh, I just switched to helmet. <laughs> oh. Maybe it's just different, because I have a, what you call it? Let me see what I, I have on my, my scarf thingy. Face cover, face wear. I have the Shemag and goggles, DSM. Looks like you have something else. Sports shades. <laughs> yeah, sports shade. Make sure you get the Shemag too. The Shemag Plus glasses or whatever. It's under VSM. Yeah, I see it. Um. Now we're playing Barbie doll right now. Oh, that's the one you like? The alternate one? I can't really see it that much. Yeah, it's more of a stylistic choice than anything else. It's OD. Stop moving. Huh? I'm talking about my character. I'm trying to just see the front. Uh. Oh, okay. You can't just go into the arsenal and like move around the the camera there with a the scroll and the right uh, right click. Uh, it's, I mean the space is kind of tight, so. Yeah, that's why I use the loose ones at the bottom. The ten or the OD. I like the ten one for now. I'll leave it there. Okay, looks like you're ready. You got a uh, tropic multicam really? for your helmet. Yeah, your helmet's tropical multicam. Better make sure it's oh, only multicam. You look like you're okay. ready for the actual jungle. There. Alright, let's look at the vehicles and see which ones uh, you want. Is the door open? Yes. Hello, sir. Alright. So we'll go down the line from like the standard issue, uh, what you call it? Standard issue, uh, Vehicles to the more, uh, the more lightweight vehicles. So all of these, all of these right here, are um, standard issue by most U.S. forces, like like the main, the main ones. And look at the weapons. Those are the weapons we'll be going around in. The first one is not as armored. The second one has an M2 Browning that is armored. Uh, but these vehicles are a little slower and, and obviously this one I forget what's the difference with this one. Uh, oh no this is uh, M240 which is like heavier than an M2 the M2 Browning is heavy but the M240 is like huge caliber bullets 
It's lighter. What? And this one is a lot more armored, including on top. Uh, but only armored with the M2 Browning. And this last one is with a M240B. Which is like the machine gun, not, not the actual M240 in the first one. So when you hear the M240, that's like... I forgot what's the difference, but... Hold up, what is the difference? Let me look it up real quick. I know there's a big difference. Uh, M240... The rate of fire would be different too. Yeah. 60. Oh, I see. I remember now. So, wait, my mistake. What I called the M240 is not. Uh, this. What you call it? No, yeah, there's the M240, and then I forget, M249, oh, okay, okay, no, I was right, this is the M240, which is like a big, heavy caliber weapon, and then this at the very end is the M240, what is it called? M249 saw, which is like, I think closer to the web, the caliber we already fire, I might be wrong, mm -hmm. I'm wrong, no, yeah, they're both two M240s, if you look it up on Google, M240s are like, the big machine guns they use in the Vietnam era are pretty big. They're bigger than a, than a saw gun. All right. Yeah, almost like if you want to think about it, it's almost like the what you call it, the equivalent of like. God, I'm forgetting. The what's the German weapon? No, no, no. The PKM. Remember the PKM? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So these are more like these big transport vehicles. Probably got mm -hmm. a lot of my facts wrong, but still, these are the bigger transport vehicles where you can transport a lot more people. I guess that would be better if we had more players. But yeah. omitting these guys, they're the more specialized ones. Here are the heavy weight specialized ones uh, with turrets that you can control from inside the car. I think this is also an, an M2. This one is same thing but camouflaged. Ugly. This is I think almost the same thing except that the rear is all covered up whereas the rear of these two vehicles has space where you can like shoot out of almost like a like a pickup truck but more armored. Mm -hmm. uh, like a Chevy or something. And then these are more of your transport vehicles. Like actual transporting heavy stuff. And then you got the super specialized one. That are a little like still armored but a little more like armored. Okay, so um, this is the ultra light weight that we have right here, the super super light weight. Uh, almost like that motor car that you saw earlier in the earlier games. This is similar to the first one we saw with the M M2 Browning, but it also has an additional, uh, uh, what you call it, M240 in the back, yeah. So it has, yeah. it has like up to three machine guns on top. So there's an mm -hmm. M2 Browning on the very top, and two M240 machine guns, one on the side and one in the back. And same thing here, except that Instead of an M2 Browning in the in the front, it has a, a chain gun, a night gatling gun. Mm. And then this is similar, except it has a grenade launcher in the front. Okay. Right, so which one do you want to take? Also, let me let me show you the mission before we actually. Okay. So if you look at your map. Yep. Okay, so there's some areas that are pretty uh, dense that we also need to make sure we're uh, we're patrolling. So one of the main uh, ones that we need to worry about are the air shaded in red. Uh, like like let's see. That is the warning sign and 
red. So definitely this this area around Athira and the very and the very top is like definitely a uh, danger ground. So Athira up there, and then this other yeah. one uh, around Laka is also danger spots. Then we have some other questionable areas that we should also investigate. So what do you want to go around first? You can like uh, hover and like use the control. Uh, oh, left click to like point at the map. There you go. So which areas do you want to? Laka. Laka. Okay. We. Yeah. All right. So looking at the road, and you notice that we're very close to like the exit. We can go along the main highway. Uh, as you see me tracing over, and what? Just mm -hmm. stop by Laka. Yeah. Okay, but also there's like this high ground above us, uh, where there's a factory and an old military installation. Should we clear that out first before we're heading into Laka? Or what do you think? Uh, yeah, let's clear that out first. All right. That also means that we probably should look look closely at these other areas. All right. How do you want to do it? Like, do you want to just go down this area and scope it out, or should we like? Slowly make our way to like this hill. Uh, clear uh, that. What do you think? Yeah, let's slowly make our way up to the hill and clear out the higher ground. Okay. Um, do you mind? And you know how to how to uh, draw on the map too, right? You hit so Control and then left click. Alright. So draw our route so we can track it on the GPS. Do you want to be the gunner or driver? I don't care. I'll be the you, be the you want to be the gunner? Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, there you go. You did it. Um, could you also black? Could you go ahead and change the color to bright blue? Like delete what you just did and replace it with a bright blue line. You know how to change the color, right? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay, it's, it's okay. Uh, Alright. Alright, and point out which one do you want? Which vehicle? Or stand by it, that would be better, uh, probably. Uh, let's see. Turn up the lights. Okay. Alright, so let's see. Alright, let's Remember that, oh, especially these. These are like the last ones I showed you, but with less, like, call it, uh, less protection and uh, less guns. So if one gun is taken now, then that's it. That's fine. Versus the other ones where you have like a multitude of, multitude of other guns. So let's say I get off the v wheel. I could also help you out by climbing in the back to fire like a second gun. So let's take this one then. That one? Uh, this is the one with the... Uh, what gun does this have? Uh, M2... M2... Yeah, the M2s. M2, okay. M2 Browning. Mm -hmm. You like that one, right? Yeah. Wait, is the second gun manageable or? It should be fine. No, 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 the second gun. Oh, you could just switch, right? Yeah. Oh, so that means you have twice the ammunition. Basically. Oh. Okay. Let me go to the driver's seat. And in case the motor gets loud. Alright, 
Sound off on the radio, so I can see how loud it is. Clear. Okay. Mm. Uh, do it again. Clear, it's the same one too. Alright, that's uh, louder and crisp, so I can hear you over the engine and probably even over the, what you call it, the, um, if there's like machine gun fire. Roger, Roger that. that. Alright, do it one more time. Testing, one, two, one, two, three. Alright, one more time. Testing, one, two, one, two, clear. Alright, we're ready, we're gonna roll out. Okay, just put on GPS. Ready. to the guards at the gate.
closer we to the hill. Yes, sir. So we're kind of close to the factory, so I'm going to start rolling slightly uphill, just a bit, away from the road. Spot anything from up there? Yep, I'm here. Uh, do you see any hostiles or anything? Negative. Okay, I'm gonna slowly inch my way forward since I know there's something uh, done in the factory. anything yet or nothing yeah. all right I'm gonna crawl ahead um, and I'm gonna peek for you but stay vigilant on the gun okay
Yeah, so I don't see anything so far. Mm. Alright. I'm gonna put my earplugs in just in case. Just in case. Equipment, earplugs in. Alright, you still hear me, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna need, I'm definitely gonna need my radio to hear you at this point. Um, especially right. with the engine on. Alright, you still hear me? Yes. Uh, okay, alright. Head down. So at this point, I'm going to uh, go around and see if there's anything inside uh, with the with the truck. So I'll be heading everything around the perimeter. Got it. So like literally nothing in here, right? For security's sake, I'm gonna just uh, go in and check that building. You don't notice anything on your side, uh, through the windows, right? No. Alright, I'm 
heading back. Looks like there's nothing here. Now we can uh, pretty much proceed with uh, with heading down the route you wanted to take, so we'll check this as done. This pretty much empty. Oh, that's red. This is good to go. Uh, yeah, that's good to go. Uh, so from here we'll just move on down to down the same road. All right. Down the same road, and hopefully encounter there. So I drew that line. All right. So let's just follow that road. Does it mean that I just go really close to that pole? This one? Am I close to like the road? Right, I mean to the pole right now? Oh, so I'm like kind of outside the road. Keep your eyes to the left. Keep your eyes in the windows and uh, any other logical place you think uh, an insertion would hide if it were you. Uh, once again, only fire if they have guns. If you don't see anything, then please don't shoot a civilian.
Open fire. He's still up, he's still up. They're uh, behind us. Down. I'm still here, fire on the left side. I think he's down. Yeah, I think that was the last one. Alright, good job. You got him almost at the same time as I did, except uh, like that, like that one coming down the road. Uh, I got him through the bushes, so that's good. I've got to put in my earplugs. I told you. How do I put them on? You remember how to put them on? Do you remember how to put them on, right? Yeah, yeah, I got them on now. Okay. All right, I'm gonna keep going uh, slowly this time, but also, um, also keep looking left. Roger. Roger. Uh, how are your ears? Ears should be fine. And how's your ammo? Relative fine. Uh, one sec. Yeah, something blew up and I thought it was you for a moment. No, it wasn't me.